you are not ready. You are a work in progress. You are young. You fear the future. You worry about money. You worry about career. You feel insecure. You don't have all the answers. You are in doubt. You are a work in progress. Now, look around, and you see a lot of people feeling the same way. I can see from here. Yeah, some nervous laughing, right? Some nodding. Yeah. All these feelings make you feel insecure and brings you a lot of confusion. Actually, your brain is still developing. Our prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain that's responsible for our cognitive thinking develops until we are around 25 years old. So, you are not biologically ready to deal with all of this complexity and all of these emotions. Let me tell you a story. I did my undergrad in business administration. Since a 10 year long career, I realized and I searched inside myself and I remember, since I was a kid, I want to do my grad studies in one of the top universities in the world. Now, imagine that. A poor little girl from a small city in Brazil want to conquer the world, yeah. It was me. Of course, I was afraid of being rejected on this university. I was afraid of failure. And you will fail. You will make mistakes. You'll be wrong. Oh my God, you'll be so wrong. And so what? If you know that you failed today, Tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, what are you afraid of? It's natural. It's part of life, right? And I failed. There is a test that you need to do to submit your score as part of the application process in these grad schools. So it's a four long hour test you do in a computer, and in the end, you have your score on the screen. It's your unofficial score, but gives you kind of a glimpse of how well you did on the test. In my case, how bad I did on the test. So the moment the score pops out of the screen, I was shocked. It, it was even average, so I could get in this university. So I started crying immediately. Imagine that, I was crying a lot, feeling miserable, so I walked out of the building feeling bad, really bad. People were passing by me, looking at me. Isn't it interesting that if I were bleeding, people would offer me help, but I was crying, and they were like, are you from Mars? What's happening here? Yeah. And failure. Oops. So, Get the scene from the moment I saw my score on the screen to the moment I was crying miserably on the streets. Are you with me? Can you get this part? Okay. It happened four times. Four times, yes, like a retweet. And sometimes my scores were even lower than the first time I took the test. I was like, am I unlearning here? I was like, What's happening? What's going on? And uh, I did not only fail four times. I failed. As a student, I could not accomplish all my learning goals. I failed as a friend. I could not go out with them. I failed as a daughter. I failed as a sister. I failed as a wife. And I failed as a stepmother. I failed as an individual. I could not be my best version that year when preparing to this test. And failure is a critical part of learning. From the small mistakes, 
to big miscalculations is the very experience that teaches you how to be resilient, how to be persistent, how to be creative problem solvers, how to be capable. And look at this little one here. No much hair, any teeth at all, and it helps to have a bath. It's me, by the way, with my elf ears. So can you imagine how many times a baby falls down before the first steps? Any guess here? OK. 17 times an hour. So one hour, 60 minutes, just do the math. Every three and a half minutes, you fall down. You fail. Is there anything we can learn from them? Hmm. As many things in life that you need to fail before you can succeed, infants need to learn how to fall before they can learn how to walk. So learn to fail. Learn to be persistent. And please, don't let this course define you. Since my internship, I realized that the skills that I need the most to be successful in the workplace, no one really taught me. I'm talking about communication skills, self-awareness, uh, problem solving, social awareness, relationship skills, empathy. Really? Why not start in developing these skills when we are in college or during high school years? Even better when we are really young, during early childhood. Really, are we preparing kids for a test and not preparing them for life? I was so pissed off when I realized that. I was really, really angry. And I decided that I need to do something about it. So that's why I started studying a field called social and emotional learning. And do you know that anger feeling? I love to feel that. Yeah, I feel really powerful, like Hulk, the green big guy, yeah? And it helped me keep moving forward, even though sometimes I can fail 17 times an hour. So if you want to figure out what's really important for you, connect with yourself with this really anger feeling inside you, and you will figure out. And the challenge here is not to be Elon Musk or Dalai Lama, the challenge is to be yourself. It's interesting because my dad, he struggles a lot to introduce me to his friends, so he keeps asking me, Tonya, what do you do? I was like, oh, let's go again. Okay, dad, I will explain you. And I said, no, 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 that's fine. When I talk to my friends, I will say that you work with education. And I said, yes, okay, fair enough. Education, as broad as it can be. Yeah, wise decision, Dad. Of course he doesn't know. I'm an author, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a speaker, I'm a teacher, I'm an educator. I'm a portfolio, right? I can do a lot of things. In the World Economic Forum says that 65% of kids that are now in primary school they will end up working jobs that don't even exist yet. So the world is changing. And you will change. Actually, you are changing. Your brain are working hard, putting a lot of effort to strengthen the connections you have already. Some parts of your brain are so strong that it's the perfect basis for learning. So learn. But learn for your life and not for your career. It will probably change, remember? And recently I read a book called Wonder from R.J. Palacio. And uh, there is a, the main character there, a little boy. He said something that really resonates to me. He said that, I think there should be a rule that everyone in the world should get a standing ovation at least once in their life. I 
totally agree with him. So, I know you're not ready. We are all work in progress. Please stand up and give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, thank you very much.